Hey guys, it's Eli here, also known as say uh, hi to Eli, it doesn't really matter which way. Um, today we're going to be reacting, I'm going to be reacting to a person called Max Mofo. He is, he has about uh, 2 million subscribers I think, and he, yeah, I found him very, very funny. So let's just, let's get on to it. Uh, where is his, uh, here. My name is Max Mofo. And you're watching my fucking video. <laughs> Good evening, Andrew speaking. Oh, hey, how you going? Can you please put Andrew on, mate? Yeah, Andrew speaking. Oh, Andrew, how you fucking been? I'm going well. Who's that? Oh, my name's Mark Johnson. I was just wondering if you know that the world is probably going to end in a few days. Oh, well, so what? Well, I was just wondering if you've heard about it. Oh, I have heard of it, yes. Well, look, I was just wondering because, you know, the world's going to be covered in earthquakes and other last-of-days-sized natural disasters anyway, that uh, maybe I could just swing by your house and pinch a pair of your underwear? I'm sure. That kind of sounds weird, but my dad's just flown over from China, you know, and he kind of just wants to get in one last feast before the planet's overrun with, you know, reptilian humanoids. And in China, it's kind of a delicacy and tradition to use the worn underwear of an unknown Caucasian male to just basically stuff the ceremonial salmon in the Qingyong Festival, which, you know, you know, pretty much roughly translates to StarCraft II land party. It's a very important event for his people, and you'd be helping me out a lot there, Andrew. Oh, look, I wouldn't worry about that if I were you. What, what do you mean? Well, um, are you, are you convinced that the world is going to end on the 21st? Yeah, of course. I, I saw a post about it on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, well, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know that it's going to... What, I mean... <laughs> It was going to, wasn't it going to end on the 21st of October, before that? No, that was, um, that's, that's something that Harold Camping said. He, he was a fucking nut job. Yeah, no, well, well my, my underwear won't stop the world from ending or even... <laughs> no, I don't think there's any... I, I, I really do think it, it's, a, it's a huge hoax. I don't think that there's any likelihood of it doing... No, I, I don't... Um, well, of course, it's going to end one of these days, and we don't know when, but there are a whole lot of things that's got to happen before the world ends. And, what, and, um, what, what's going to happen? Well, well, one of the things that's going to happen is that, the, the, that Jesus is going to come again. He came the first time at Christmas time, and he's going to come again, and all those who trust in him are going to be taken to be with him and live with him forever. And then the world will come to an end after well, what's, that. What's, um, you know, what's going to stop Jeebus from appearing on the 21st? <laughs> Yeah, well, that's nothing to do with underpants, my boy. It's the whether you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ or not. No, no, it's not like, you know, I worship the underpants God or anything like that. It's just that, you know, as I said before, my dad's a full Chinese bloke, and before the world ends, he just wants to have his last taste of the Chongyong salmon. All right, well, you'd better try somebody else, I think. But what I would suggest to you is that you can read some of the passages in the New Testament oh, Jesus, Christ, and Jesus. you'll get a lot more peace about the the end of the world and it'll be nothing to do whether you stuff a salmon with underpants or what you do. Well, well listen, quote Exodus 15.2 and Jesus said, Thy thank you, Mario, but our princess is in another castle. <laughs> you know, and, and, and this kind of just made me think, like, you know, how how's he going to appear in the second coming? Is, is it going to be more like, you know, modern times? Is he going to rock up on a scooter with the Ten Commandments in an email on his iPad, or, you know, how's there it going to work? There won't be any rocking up on scooters and any amusement about it. Um, he'll come in power and glory. So, kind of like Batman? I don't know quite how it is going to be, but um, it tells us that those who don't believe him are going to wail because of him, and they're going to be scared, and they're going to call upon the rocks and the things to, to fall upon them. So, no need to put underwear in a salmon, then? No. <laughs> no. Well, how... How do I convince my dad? Because, you know, I'm half Chinese. My dad's, um, you know, he believes in Chinese Jesus or whatever, and it's appropriate to stuff a salmon with a jock strap. Like, how am I going to talk some sense into it? <laughs> well, let him stuff his salmon with underwear uh, <laughs> is all I can say, but he's not going to use mine. No, but he's my family, you know. I, I, I can't let my family burn in hell. No, well, um, what about you? Let me ask you that question first. What about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to 420 with Jesus. You know, he's going to be my best friend. He's going to be your best friend. Is he your best friend now? 
Well, he's in my. I, I put him in my top ten on MySpace. He's probably about you know seventh or eighth. Have you asked him to save you and be your lord and master? So you're saying I should probably put him up a few spots, maybe second or even first? Yes. Well, what about Donna, my wife? You know, I don't know how happy she's going to be about me moving her down a few spots. Well, I would suggest that's what you expect. Okay, so what about Buddha? Buddha's my number two. If I put him to number three, he's going <laughs> to start feeling like I've, you know, lost faith in him. Did, did, did Buddha die for your sins? Well, he was a pretty cool guy. He might have been a pretty cool guy, but I'll ask you another question. Did he die for your sins? No, Andrew, Buddha did not die for my sins. But Jesus did, yeah. Now, Jesus is the one that you must follow. Well, I follow him on Twitter. Uh, he's got a uh, half a million followers. That's pretty good. You, you heard of Twitter before? Yes, I've heard of Twitter, yes. Yeah, I, I follow Jesus on Twitter, but, you know, my dad's more into following the Chinese god How To. Have, have you heard of How To before? Ha, ha, what? Um, no, not Housey, mate. We're not fucking watching House MD. <laughs> yeah, well, well, my question there is, did he die for their sins? Yes. Well, if, if that... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm not convinced that he would would be a, a saviour, but... Um... Well, what am I meant to tell Brock, my dad? Like, how do I convince him that he's following the wrong religion? Well, ask him the, the sort of questions that, that I asked you. I mean, has he worked miracles? Did he die? Did he rise again? I mean, these these are the things that, that um, prove that Jesus is, is, is God. So just say, look, Dad, your religion and beliefs and all other religions and cultures are absolute shit, mate. You have to be Christian or you're going to hell. Just like, you know, just like that. Yeah, the Christian religion mate, really makes so much more sense. So it's Christian Jesus that I've got to put my faith in to come save me when the world blows up. But that, can, that won't be the end of the world in the sense that the world will burn up and explode and all that sort of thing. And if it does, what a good <laughs> underpants in a salmon. <laughs> um, I mean, I, 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 I don't... don't but anyway, look, um, it's getting late for me. Um, All right, well, I'll let you go now, Andrew. May Housey bless you and, you know, best of luck in the end of days. God bless. Bye-bye. He could. But, Aaron, there is another picture of horse with outfits. All right, guys, so that is um, my video for Max Mofo. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and... Just leave it in the comments if you if you want to do if you want me to do more of this. Um, <clears throat> please like, subscribe, and yeah, peace.